tonight. Let's get some more voices in on the matter as we keep exploring the world of After Nines. So, just between us queers... So, do either of you identify as After Nine or have ever identified as an After Nine? No, I've never identified as an After Nine. I can tell you, I've never, I've never identified as an After Nine, but there was a period when I was married when I might not have been completely faithful. So, I might have been an After Nine. <laughs> <laughs> just by default, I think. <laughs> But um, do you know any after nines? Oh, absolutely. I, I know quite a few from when I was a bit younger, university days. Um, there's quite a lot of um, after nines everywhere, especially in the townships uh, when growing up. There's a lot of guys who have got wives, who have girlfriends during the day. But in the evening, they really chat you up when you go out drinking. And yeah, things happen from there. Is it an after nine or just another word for a bisexual man? Absolutely not. I really? Don't, I don't think so. Um, I think, actually, maybe it could be, thinking they, about it now. kind of bisexual in a way, if they, if they have, a, 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 you know, sort of both sides of the fence. But I, I, I think, personally, an after nine could be bisexual, mm -hmm. but not all bisexuals are after nines. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean... There's a lot of people that kind of get trapped in marriages as well, especially in, in, in Indian communities or yep. people with arranged, kind of arranged marriages. Yeah. And I know a lot of, I can't say I know a lot of people, but I've, I've been with some people yeah. <laughs> who, who have slipped away for the afternoon or something and yeah. then have to be back at a certain time. I mean, it happens a lot. Um, there, there's also guys who don't identify as bisexual, but they do things with guys in gay sex clubs mm. just because, On the for way example, home, their, their yeah. wives wouldn't agree to oral mm. sex, perhaps, mm -hmm. or their wives wouldn't want to do certain things that mm -hmm. um, people in a sex club would want to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it could be bisexual, some could be just heterosexual men looking for some extra fun. Who was the first after nine you've ever met? Even more interesting, when was the term after nine first used? It's like blesser just came into use at some point. Yeah. Eh? Because I don't think we were aware of it until... You've got a name. It's, there's a TV yeah, show. Name. Yeah. There's a TV show that had a name as well. Yeah, there, there's a story that um, it was called After Nine, His Story. So it was um, a story about a man who was married and he had a wife. But, you know, just to quickly go back to your question, I'm actually thinking now, back when I was in high school, I used to date an after nine in high school. This guy, we were together uh, during in the afternoons on weekends he would come to my place but at school we were just friends and he when i went to university he even had a child with a girl and we continued seeing each other and you know he would still come and see me he even introduced me to his girlfriend as his friend and their child so that was my first experience of an after nine so i've had a recent experience on grinder with somebody who doesn't stay far but he would only slip out at midnight when everybody's asleep and then he would quietly slip out and Go and come back later. Mm. There's another question. Does an after nine have to have a wife or girlfriend? Can it also be hiding from parents? Isn't it about secretive sex though? But it, it, it has that implication of being married, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, at least a, a, a woman in that in the picture somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, or somebody who doesn't want. I mean, you're right. It could Maybe be also parent, you know? could also be a gay man or a bisexual man, an MSM man who just Deep doesn't want closet. people to know what he's mm -hmm. doing and he prefers to do it only when no one is watching. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it could be any sexual orientation, really. Do you agree with people being often nice? Do you think it's acceptable for people to do this? I think that it's um, to each their own, as long as people are doing it in a safe way. As long what as about the wife? You know, that's co it's, it's very complex. I think that as human beings, we tend to have an understanding of everything. We want to research things. We want to have things in a certain way in boxes. I don't know. Maybe the wives sometimes know and they just pretend like they don't know. You know, there are some wives who might have seen text messages. They might have seen emails, whatever, credit card statements, and they know, but they just want to stay in the marriage for the sake of the kids, not to be publicly humiliated. So it's not necessarily always wives who don't know. So it's, it's a bit complex. I don't, I don't think that there's a clear answer to your question, honestly. I have an issue if, if somebody hurts somebody else by mm. doing something. So if you're in a sexual relationship and a marriage relationship with somebody and then you have something on the slide that that person doesn't know about, it has the potential to be very harmful mm. to both that person and your relationship. So as much as one understands that people have needs and you can't judge really people and what they do and why they do things, I'm concerned that people would get hurt in the process. Also, I just think in a purely sexual health perspective, it's almost the same thing as like when someone is just unfaithful in a quote unquote regular relationship, you're not putting the other person, the third party at risk because now they don't know that you're sleeping around. Mm -hmm. Now they might make assumptions about your sexual health, which may not be true. Yeah. I mean, 
I think also, I mean, to touch on what you're saying now, it's just very important for anybody who is doing this. If, if you're an after nine, you know, if you feel comfortable in doing it um, and if you, we're not going to judge, I, I, you know, from the work that I do, we, we don't, we don't judge people. You, so you let them be, but let be safe about it. I mean, that's what we emphasize. Just make sure that you protecting everybody that you're with and you're sleeping with. So get prep, get pep, get use condoms, whatever, but just be safe about it. And in a marriage, most probably there won't be condoms and all that sort of things uh -huh. because it's on the assumption that yeah, this yeah. is a closed relationship with certain rules, if that is what they agree to. Mm. Then um, it becomes doubly more important to protect your partner then by playing extra safe mm -hmm. when you actually go out and, and hunt.